Hello everyone, my name is Baru and welcome back to another Battleborn video. And today we're going to be going over the loot or gear aspect of what Battleborn can offer you. So let's go ahead and go over the basics here. On the left side you can see your loadout, you can have up to three pieces of loot and then you can unlock more loadouts as you level up through the game. On your right, you've got the gear bank and all the different pieces of gear that you have available. You can increase this by buying more gear spots, which are done via the currency that you acquire in game. And there's a variety of different loot here. Let's say I've got a nice little ammo butler and you've got this fist icon and you've got this sword. So these do a variety of different things and have a variety of different uh, rarities you've got your white green blue purple and then you've got legendary and you've also got these packs of loot that you'll find via completing story missions and make uh, winning games in PvP now winning games in PvP doesn't have guaranteed drops and if you want to find more loot you're gonna find a lot more by just playing through the story mode of this game so there's that but you can also acquire loot in PvP. You can also straight up buy packs which you will be able to unlock through the command system. So once you've hit level 30 you can just straight up buy you know epic loot if you want to do that and it has a chance at giving you legendaries as well. Now you technically can get legendaries from any kind of from any kind of pack here but you're gonna obviously have a better chance getting them from the the epic ones so we're gonna go ahead and just open up a couple packs here so you can get a variety of loot let's say we've got this one this will give you um, this one will give you recoil reduction one will give you skill damage and things like that and one is shield penetration now you'll notice that these have CC re uh, duration uh, reduce CC duration on them now the way that these work is that you can't have three of the same type of gear which means if I try and put on something that increases my CC reduction as its primary stat then I won't be able to put on anything else which means you can't just like stack attack speed or stack you know power or anything like that but if the secondary stat works then you actually can so I'm actually show this real quick here so if I go over to the helmet this is specifically CC reduction and the other ones this one is specific shield penetration but its secondary stat is CC duration and then we've got another CC duration here. So you can actually stack secondary stats just fine. So if you find gear that has secondary stats that you want to actually have, then you can just, you know, merge those together and it's perfectly fine. Now the quality of the gear is going to determine one, how high the stats are and two, what kind of um, crystal usage you're going to end up having there. The better the gear, the more crystals it's going to take to actually activate this gear. In addition, if you're using white gear, you will usually be able to activate it at the very beginning of the match, but they usually come with negative stats as well. For example, I've got a fist and a sword, and the negative effects of those is that it reduces my maximum health and my maximum shield, but I can get an early boost right away. So there's kind of a give and take here with these pieces of loot that are of lower quality. So once you load up into your game, you're gonna wanna select your character. And then once you've selected your character, you're gonna have your loadouts that you can choose from. Obviously, I've only got one actually set up right now, so it's only gonna give me one, but that's how you're gonna choose your loadout once you actually get into the game. And like I said, you can have a variety of different loadouts for a variety of different characters. Now, for the actual loot itself, most of the gear doesn't spe specify a specific task which means that it will do it will give you straight up attack speed it won't say shot or you know shooting speed or melee attack speed it's simply just attack speed straight up so this will work for melee and it will work for gun based characters as well and then you've got the fist which is just straight up damage you know it, it affects everyone now obviously things like the buckler is going to give you you know increased reload speed and that's not going to work on a sword I, you can't reload a sword i'm sorry so there are a few pieces of gear that are specific to uh certain classes 
but for the most part you're gonna have your loot uh pretty much work on every character now obviously there's a few things like healing received uh but that does not actually affect your healing output so that won't really affect uh, miko for example who is a healer i believe there is some plus healing gear though i haven't been able to find all the different pieces of loot however you can be rest assured that once i actually do get it all i will be kind of going in depth of what you can expect for all the different legendary loot and uh, there is some more talk about loot that I will be able to go over on the 23rd as it does relate to the campaign, which I can't quite touch yet. But that is a quick and uh, quick and easy way to go over all the loot that you can expect in Battleborn. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I just want to make this short and informational and uh, hope you found it fun. Anyway, that has been today's Battleborn video. And I will catch you all in the next one, everybody. Next video should be going over the characters in specific. We're going to be going over Oscar Mike because I've been putting a little bit of time into him. And we're going to slowly go through all of the characters. Now, I don't actually have that much PvP right now, because or PvE right now, because we only have the PvP. But rest assured, on the 23rd, we will have a little bit more of the PvE content. Anyway... Like I said, that is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful or anything like that, or looking forward to Battleborn, do me a favor and hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out here on the YouTube, and it makes me feel all good. Anyway, that's it. See you later.